Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Exfo inspection probe to test multi-fiber cables. I have here the FIP435B model inspection probe, which is our wireless model. I'm using it with a phone with the Connector Max 2 mobile app installed. These tests can also be performed using inspection probes with a USB connection. The first thing you have to do for multi-fiber tests is to change the adapter. This is a monofiber adapter that you can simply unscrew using this ring and replace with the multi-fiber adapter you see here. Simply insert it and then turn the ring until it is secure. The inspection probe is now ready for multi-fiber testing. The probe's long, slim design lets you reach dense distribution panels, so I have good access here. For this demonstration, I'm going to test an MPO12 cable. For cable testing, I can clip an adapter onto the end of the inspection probe, like this, and then insert the cable into the adapter. In the application, you need to go into the test configuration at the bottom of the screen and change the connector type. It was set to single fiber connector, so I'll just click to change it to multi-fiber connector. The connector type here is MPO-MTP. The connector key orientation is key up, as shown here on the adapter, and the configuration is 1x12. As you can see, at the bottom you can also change the pass-fail thresholds that you want to apply to your test results. Then just click the X to return to the main screen. Taking the photos is a three-step process. The first photo, as shown on the screen, is for the far left position. You can see the indicators on the side of the adapter. When it's properly aligned, you can feel it. It'll click. And then there's an indicator here, and you can see three marks in the window. When you're in position one, press the camera button to take your first photo. The app tells me that the camera is taking the photo for position one, and then displays a message telling me to go to position two. I pull the trigger toward me until the probe stops at position two. Once again, you can see the three small marks in the window that show you are properly aligned. I press the camera button again to take a photo in position two. Then the screen tells me to go to position three, the last position. I pull the trigger again until it stops and I can see the three little marks in the indicator window that show I'm in the correct position. Then I press the camera button. That was the third photo and the final manual step in the process. Now the Connector Max software automatically analyzes each connector. There are 12 fibers here. You can see the status of each of the 12 fibers at the bottom of the image. It will be green if they pass the test for the threshold I entered in the app. If a connector fails the test, it will be clearly indicated in red. So, you can see the individual status of each connector, and at the end, you get the overall status, which is fail in this case. Of these 12 fibers, we see that number 5 failed, which means the connector fails the test overall. This is also clearly indicated on the inspection probe, with this LED light that turns red to tell me there's a problem on the connector. If all of the connectors had passed the test, the light would have turned green. Once I have my results, I just press the PDF button at the top of the screen to quickly generate a report, which I can then share by email, text, etc. The button next to it gives me access to the results of all my recent tests. So, as you can see, it's very easy to use the Exfo inspection probe to go from a monofiber test, like I would have done with this adapter, to a multi-fiber test like I just did. Visit our website at www.exfo.com for more information. Thank you.